Hi, good morning guys. We're here for another get ready with me. Maybe I should just stop saying we're here for get ready with me because we know we're here for a get ready with me. Green tea this morning with honey. It's already lukewarm. Skincare is done. I finally got around to removing my nail polish last night. Not that I need it to, but I want to redo my nails. They're kind of like a... Oh, shoot. Well, it looks like I'm going to be redoing this nail because I didn't let it dry. Alrighty then. I have two on. I have Sinful Colors coffee drip on. And over top, I put Nails Ink London in Dream Dust over top. So you, I don't see the pink at all. I just mostly see the gold that's in here. Looks like I'll have to um, remove this and redo that one later. I swear it was fully dry two seconds ago. I must have touched something. Anywho, um, what am I doing makeup-wise this morning? Well... I was thinking to myself, because I do have quite a bit of makeup, and I was like, what's a palette that I used to use all the time, but I don't even touch it anymore? It's the Natasha Denona Glam Light. So we're going to use this today, and I'm looking at it, and it is cool tone. I do like cool tone shadows. My favorite things about this palette in general is just, it's the shimmers, not the mattes. Um, the mattes work great, but I like the shimmers. So I'm thinking I could pull in another palette to use with this. But I'm going to do the same base that I did yesterday. Because I really like that. So we're going to start with the Say Glowy Gel in Star Glow. Warm Glow is out, but I don't know where I put it. So we're going to do three pumps of this. And just put this... All over. I really liked how my base looked yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we had we took Grace to therapy. That was great. Don't gotta go back again now until the seventeenth. But if she wanted to go back. Beforehand, she's got to let us know. And we will take her. I am thinking once this, once I'm done both bottles, because they're both this size. I do think once I'm done both, I will pick up a full size of one of the two. I'm just debating. I feel like both work for me, both the Star Glow and Warm Glow. So, I don't know which one to get. Where's the cover? I'll let that sit for a second. Uh, I finally got my hands on the e.l.f. Um, primer infused matte bronzer as well as the primer infused blush base. I think I want to use both of these today as well. Possibly. What's weird is there was only one shade for both of these. Is I'm going to look it up. I swear there was a line because not everybody, this is not going to suit everybody. It says forever sun kissed. Yeah, and I want to try it out because it says it's primer infused. Okay. But like, would I use a brush? I think so. So yeah, that. I know that would definitely, that's definitely going to work for me, but maybe the Walmart that I was out was just out of all the shades, but they literally had just this color, the shade for the bronzer and only the shade for the blush. The blush is called Always Rosy.
think I should let my nails dry longer. Damn it. Don't start swearing, Tammy. How do I get this one open? Back scratcher for the one. And then this is always rosy. That does not look rosy to me at all. But I want to try these. What the heck? That doesn't look rosy. That kind of looks bronze. Like a... gonna blend it some I mean these will go good together but that does not look rosy to me it looks more peach we'll see we'll see how that plays out we'll see if I even use these two today I don't know um this is sitting. I want to put some of this on my lips right now. The Glow Reviver Lip Oil. The shade name is on here. It says uh, Rose Envy. Um, this has the same doe foot as the In Beauty, which I like. And there's like a faint smell to this that I don't like. It's almost like they're trying to pull like a mint. Uh, but the mint isn't pulling through. Are these a dupe for anything? My, I would assume so. Because Elf dupes everybody. They dupe a lot of Charlotte Tilbury. Um... This does feel nice. Let's see how it is on the moisturizing. Hmm. That does feel nice. I will give it that. All right, we're going to go in with the Revlon Illuminance Serum Tint in the shade 113. I used this yesterday and I just, I liked how my skin looked yesterday. I don't need a ton. Again, I'm just looking to like even out my skin. Grab this mirror. Pull you guys in a little closer so you can see. I'm just going to start off by Spreading it out with my hand, my fingers. And since I did that look for the collab with Chris, all I can think about is those Revolution palettes and just the colors that I used. I'm like, hmm. I'm thinking maybe once a week I'm going to just go ahead and do a colorful look. Because I really liked how that look turned out. Alright. I need a wipe. Only because I can't stand having stuff left on my hands. It's like, it feels weird. i take a sponge and just pounce this in. Today is going up to 23, so I was trying to find something to wear. I've got my a stitch 
t-shirt on and a pair of black shorts. These shorts are not going to be what I wear today because I'm sitting down. It looks like I have no shorts on. So I'm not going to wear these ones today. I do have, since we spent most of yesterday out, I do have a large load of laundry to go take care of. So I'm going to do that today. I might plan out the rest of my get readies, get ready with me for this week. I was telling my sister and my husband, I kind of want to, I have like five wigs in my closet that I bought from Timu. Uh just over a year ago last february because last february me being me i i gave myself a buzz cut i was walking around my hair like this short and then i was like huh. it was the second time i had done that first time i gave myself a buzz cut was intentional because i want to get all the hair dye out of my hair and i didn't want to go through the process of just getting it trimmed or cut every couple of months whatever to slowly cut the hair dye out so i buzzed it off well, and then that grew out. My hair grew out really nice. And then me being me, I went and dyed my hair again. Because dyeing my hair is something I would do impulsively. Just if I was feeling sad, dye your hair. If I was happy, dye your hair. Like, oh, I want to look like with purple hair. I would go dye my hair. So that happened again. But I think I didn't go too crazy with it. Oh, so what happened? Yeah, I did end up dyeing my hair again, but it was nothing that was too hard for me to, like, grow out. But then last February, because I used to have my hair short all the time. I had my hair in a pixie cut from grade 8 all throughout my 20s. And then pretty much my late 20s. And then once I got to my 30s when I started keeping my hair long. But then after a couple of years, I would just go and get my hair chopped off into a bob or a pixie again. Well, my hair got long again, and I don't know why. I was like, oh, I want to go give myself a pixie cut. I used to give myself pixie cuts. I wouldn't go to the salon. Rarely, very rarely I go to the salon for it. Okay, I got some. It's like it's creasing around my nose. Long story short, because I could drag this on. I went in to give myself a pixie cut. I forgot how to do it, even though they say muscle memory. No, I forgot. I took my hair to a point of no return, so I buzzed it off. And, you know, I can pull off a buzz cut, but I looked pretty manly. So I bought some wigs off Timu. It was either Timu or Cheyenne. And then, of course, I was wearing ball, ha ball hat caps and stuff okay that's that for that all right hmm i kind of who what do i want to do next you see yesterday i wear i used the give beauty i have no problem with either one did my blush last yeah my blush that i did lasted all day i did the hibiscus shade with a whoa laura geller baked blush i don't want to do that today the lippy I did wear all day. I took it with me to where everywhere we went yesterday. And I replied it, I think, twice. I like the wear down of this because this is does give color. But you know how like, sometimes things can wear off and then like you see your lip color on the inside and on the outside it's leftover remnants of this. I felt like this wore off evenly. So and as it wore off, it still was leaving like a nice shine so i do like the lip the blush so far so good i've only used it once so i can't really say much more on that i'm gonna go ahead and use the rare beauty is this happy soul yeah happy soul bronzing stick i almost ordered the lys one i'm holding myself back from doing so because this still has a lot of product. Cream products. Yeah, this still has a lot of product. Um, maybe when I get this halfway gone. Like maybe once I get this down to here. I'll consider getting the list one. 
<clears throat> but I think I do want to get... This is not my favorite shade. I know it's a bronzer. And I know I use my Fenty Matchstick in the shade Amber as a bronzer. But that's not a bronzer. It's more of a contour color. But again, it's makeup. You can do it. Do with it however you please, which is what I do. I don't know, I just feel like this one, it's very warm. It doesn't look orange, but if I were like to go over it again and add some more, I feel like it would leave me looking pretty orange. I think I am going to go with a little contour. Where is that Fenty stick? I think I see it. I'm going to go with a little bit of that as well. Because, yeah, this one, like I said, I'm project pan for this one. I'm not rebuying this. It's good, though. If I, I, I've already said multiple times, so it's like, I'm just repeating myself, but I get this, I'll get this shade, but in the compact instead of a stick. <clears throat> and just blend that as well. I don't know. I just, I, I thoroughly enjoy just sitting down and doing my makeup. Even if I'm not going anywhere. It's like me time. Is that a hair? Yep. I didn't hairspray my hair back today. I just brushed it out, did a half pony, and then gathered the rest up to a bun. I think this is also why I tend to cut my hair a lot. Because as my hair grows out, what does Tammy do? Different variations of buns or braids. Some people might say you're getting too old for braids. There's hairstyles that I do as my hair gets longer that people would say is too juvenile. Well, guess what? It's just like I say with makeup, it's hair. Like, who cares? If I want to wear pigtails, I'll wear pigtails. But yeah, that's another reason why I tend to always end up chopping my hair off. Um... It's because I always just end up doing the same thing with it. <clears throat> Buns, braids, and ponytails. Right now, though, my my goal with my hair right now is to get it to probably right here. Without cutting it. But I might do something with the bangs. I think I want curtain bangs. Okay. I like how the skin looks. That lip oil is definitely soaking in, but it's a lip oil, so it's, it's supposed to do that. Alright. I feel like the next move for me... I do want to do powder bronzer. Some of the stuff... I do have some things. This thing I got from Cheyenne, because Grace did an order. And I was like, hey, I'm, let me add a few things on. I added this thing on there so I have some things that I want to use and like have within eyesight like I have my two Kylie palettes makeup by Mario makeup by Mario to give um, bronzer contour a list stick I just have different things in here like some brow products in here some what's in here my favorite makeup by Mario cream bronzer and blush in there like some of my favorites are in here as well as just things I will switch them out as 
like, hey, this week I think I should really, you know, use this or whatever. Um, I do know for highlighter today. Let's put this on right now because this is very highlighty. This is from She Glam. It's the Luna, sorry, Lunar Glow Highlighter in Vanilla Frost. Do you need something? No. Okay. Um, I really like this highlighter. I think I gotta scratch my nose. You have a nose? Yes, I have a nose. Um, I think my highlighter and brushes are all. Would this work? It's not a highlighting brush. Half my brushes that I want are, I didn't get around to washing them yet, so they're in the bathroom on the counter. I'll use this brush. I like to put my, yeah. We need a new light bulb for the fridge. I know. I like to put my highlight where I naturally see a glow on my face on the side here. So usually when I do my skincare, I end up am left with like a glow right here. So that's where I like to put the highlighter, even though it can and does infancy, uh, infancy, oh darn it, what is that word? Yeah, you can have that. Not infant size. Emphasize? Emphasize. That's a word I cannot say. What? Emphasize? Hey. <clears throat> so yeah, like, I don't know if you guys can see it here. So when I look in the mirror, I, I do see glow down here, but I'm not going to put highlighter down there. But when I put my face here, I see like a C shape right here where there's glow. So even though sometimes I'll do my highlighter and just go straight across here, I feel like for me it just looks better if I put my highlighter right like this. And then of course I will take my sponge to tone it down later after I do more blush and bronzer because when I put those on those will also tone this down. It looks so, it's like a nice wet look. I really, I'm glad I picked this up. Was there other shades? Honestly, I don't remember. I just know I seen this. I was like, ooh, vanilla frost. And then, hey, it looks like a spaceship. And I was like, let's give her a try. Is this the first She Glam product I've ever tried? What's that? Oh, your grumpy cat mug. Yeah. Have they seen it yet? Mm-hmm. A, a long while back. Alright, I'm trying to keep in mind the eye look that I'm doing so the blush should not be anything crazy. Um. Darn it. Oh, crap. Maybe I have more than these than I thought. Alright, remember how I said... Well, you guys know I picked up two of the e.l.f. camo blushes and I said two's enough. I bought two more. I just uh, couldn't help myself. These two aren't the same, right? Nope. The two new additions right here. I was saying, man, I like to have a color like this that's peachy orange. And, you know, I think because I don't use colors like this often... The best route for me was to get one from the drugstore as cheap as possible. I didn't see anything by Essence, so Elf is probably the cheapest for me. Um, the names are on these. These are the Camo Liquid Blushes. My light is on my phone. I do think one's called... Barely Rose or a Toasty Rose. Something Rose. I'm going to use this one because it's the most neutral. But so is this one. This one's like a mauve one. This one's a Rose. This is Berry Well. 
Will I get the rest of them? Maybe. I don't know. They're definitely way cheaper than the Rare Beauty. I do have one of the Rare Beauty ones. Maybe I'll mix these two. Well, they're so different. This is Encourage. This is the Mauve one. I just, I need my phone's flashlight. So, oh, Suave Mauve. This is what this one's called. Um, do you want to see a comparison? For how they, so we have Rare Beauty, and then we have Elf. Let's just swatch these. These are definitely two different colors. So we have Elf over here. Rare Beauty definitely looks thicker. Elf feels more wet, or at least it looks like it's more wet. So we have Rare Beauty. That's a pretty color. So we have Rare Beauty and Encourage. You know what? That feels very thin and wet as well. And then we have Elf. Okay. Elf is much, much thinner. So we have Elf, Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty definitely feels wet. It feels oily. It feels thin. But the Elf one also feels... Slightly oily. It doesn't feel as oily as the Rare Beauty. Like, the Rare Beauty feels like... The Rare Beauty one, to me, feels nicer. There's more give to it. The Elf one feels like the give on it has already gone. The Rare Beauty one, I feel like, yeah, I can still go. Both colors are nice. So this is the Suave Mauve from Elf and then Encourage from Rare Beauty. Shit. Are the... I gotta stop saying shit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I'll just start saying, dang it. Now I'm like, did I say those correctly? Was it Rare Beauty and Elf or Elf Rare Beauty? Now I don't know. I'll know when I go back to watch the video. Either way, they both nice. One definitely dries faster than the other, though. I don't want to redo it. Now my mind doesn't know what one, what's which side. All I know is one definitely feels a lot more wet and you have more time to spread it out. The other one also feels wet. Okay, they both feel oily. They both feel wet. One though has more time to play around and spread it out. The other one, super fast, drying. I'm confusing myself because I'm not sure. I mean, now I kind of want to use the Suave Mauve, I think. Yeah, let's use Suave Mauve. I'm going to keep this one. Well, I'll keep these two out as a reminder. Maybe I could just mix. Yeah, let's do that. I know, I'm all over the place. So many choices, though. So I'm going to go in with a dab of Suave Mauve. And I'll put some of the, I know this is a nude one. No, it's not. This is Dusty Rose. Why did I think it said something nude? Dusty Rose. This is very light for a Dusty Rose. I love you too. That is pretty. It looks kind of peachy, eh? I just feel like to show you guys what it could look like, this is it blended out. So we'll do a little 
bit of this in here too. And then I'm going to use my sponge. I know some people are like, oh, sponges soak product up. Yeah, it does, but... I don't know. I like using my sponge. I should have told you guys beforehand, get a cup of coffee or something before listening, before turning me on. Because, uh... I feel like I haven't even done anything yet. We're already at a half hour. But, I mean... I'm in no rush to get my... Makeup done. This cream cheese, right? Cream cheese? Is that a silver foil packet? Yep. What are you making? Toast. Toast. Okay. And I'm gonna run whatever's left over. All right, so those two together are nice. And see, like I guess I didn't really need to blend over the highlighter because the blush kind of done that for me. Let's do the eyebrows. I want to put some more of this on. There's not much of a give for me to rub my lips together. This does feel nice though. It feels lip smoothing. All right, for my eyebrows, let's do, I feel like I have other brow pencils, my favorites. I just, I need to sharpen them. So I've been using the two same old, two same ones. I'm going to use the CoverGirl one. Or not CoverGirl, Maybelline. The CoverGirl one that I bought, the newer one, it's much too dark for me. I need to go in with it very, very light-handed. I might use an eyebrow brush, though, to use it up. So I was watching, um, I rewatched Chris's, um, neon video this morning. Uh, we're definitely going to do another collab. I'm going to pick, I have two ideas. One I'm thinking is kind of, oh, here's my two ideas for the next collab that Chris and I do. Hollywood glam, which I don't even know. I have to go look up pictures of like old Hollywood glam makeup I feel like Chris could totally pull that off my other one idea that I'm thinking I mean I feel like both her and I could pull off Hollywood glam easily uh, but then I was also thinking like what's something that I do like doing but not a lot like I will do it randomly you can call it goth, emo, I don't know. I kind of want to see Chris in like a full goth look. Not just the eyes, but like your, the whole entire makeup look. I think that's one where I would probably go dye one of my... Like I, I have a couple of wigs. I was telling Matt, I think I want to dye one of my wigs black. Um... Because I'm playing around the idea of doing like a wig it Wednesdays where it's like get ready with me but I'll do like a different wig while doing my get ready with me and whatever. I mean it sounds kind of silly and stupid but at the same time it could be fun and it could just be something that I do weekly on Wednesdays.
yeah, I just feel like, yeah, those are two things I was thinking about for like a, a collab that we do. I mean, there are so many collabs that a person could do. It could even be like, I don't know, we, if we both have like the same eyeshadow palette or a couple of pieces of the same makeup. Not, I wouldn't want to go out and buy things. Um, here, me and Chris, though, because she, she's seen my whole makeup collection and um, she did mention that her and I definitely have a lot of different, we don't have a lot of the same brands or pieces. But yeah, we could definitely do like, that looks good. We could definitely do, I mean, there's so many collab ideas. I'm still contemplating just because I've never done a live before, but I do have a friend, Andy, who said when I'm ready, she would like to do a live get ready with me. So we would both go, I don't know, I don't even know how that would work. Like, I... She has a live that she did, I think, last week on her channel. Um, and she... It looked like she did a split screen with one of her friends for a live. Get ready with me. Love you, too. And... I'm just like, how the heck would that work? I'm also thinking... Andy lives in the UK, I think. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. I don't even know the time difference because I'm in Canada. So I don't know how going live together on a split screen for her and I would work. Again, I don't know the time difference. Anyways, I would definitely like to do a go live with her one of these times. Um... My thing is, though, too, <clears throat> even though I come on here and chat, you guys can't see me. Like, you can see me on the screen, but, like, not in person. Um, we're in therapy. So, the therapy's for Grace, but some of the sessions, Matt and I are in there with her. Because when with therapy, you got to talk about family stuff. Well... Thankfully for us, and the therapist said this, we don't have family issues. Grace's therapy is because of, the again, the bullying that she's endured since kindergarten and not being able to keep friendships. But a lot of stuff that she has going on in her head, it's coming from anxiety. And um, so that's what she's going to therapy for. We're going to like, they're going to help her unravel stuff. There's, there's a point to this. Of why I said you guys can't see me. But you, you can see me on the screen. But in the therapy. Right now for our sessions. He's not just. Giving Grace therapy. He's kind of. In a way giving Matt and I therapy at the same time. And. I've noticed the past two sessions this week. And then the last one a couple weeks ago we had. That he's really honing in on me. And I've told Matt. And Grace is laughing. I was like I feel like he's like trying to look deep inside me. Because I'm in there. My legs are shaking. Like I'm not someone who can sit still and stuff. I know I have undiagnosed ADHD. I do have undiagnosed anxiety. But it's like I find ways to cope with it. And. Anyways when he was. Talking to Grace. About hey like. I don't know, when you go into a classroom, what do you do? And she said, oh, I go and sit at the back, as far back of the classroom as I can do. Or as far back as I can go so that no one can look at me and see me. Eyebrows are done. Let's do... I feel like I'm going to drag this on and then it's going to be like... Then I'm going to cut myself off and be like, never mind. I'm going to grab... No, I'm not going to grab... Uh, yes. One second, guys. No, I have to get up and then you guys will be like, where'd she go? I'll just use this. I'm going to use the elf. No, I'm not. Let's use the... Uh, that wasn't even elf. That was Maybelline. Let's use the elf. Pore infused or primer infused bronzer. 
Okay, maybe I'll just cut all that crap out, I was gonna say, because then it'd be talking about grace. Um, it got to the point where he was talking to me and asking me about my anxiety, and he said, what does it feel like for you? Or what situation would you be in, Tammy, that would bring your anxiety on? And I said, well, when I would have to walk to the school to pick up my kids, David or Grace, I was like, I would be getting ready to go to the school to pick them up. And I wouldn't even have to see the schoolyard. My chest would get tight. I would start getting weak and sometimes lightheaded. Uh... I was like, it's just, it was an automatic. I didn't even have to think about going to the school to pick them up. I just, the anxiety would kick in. And he's like, so what would happen when you get to the school? And I said, well, I would avoid all possible interaction with all the adults, with all the other parents. I would stand back as far away from everybody so nobody would look at me or talk to me. He's like, what else would you do? And I was like, well, just, you know, it could be a minus 40 outside, dark, in a snowstorm. And I would also be wearing sunglasses so that I wouldn't have to make eye contact with anybody and so that nobody would make eye contact with me. And then he gets into, why is that? And I was like, I don't know, people make me uncomfortable. And he's like, they make you uncomfortable, but what is it about... He's like, what is it about going to the school to get your kids that makes you uncomfortable? And I said, the interaction with the other adults, the other people there. Um, I know this stems from a lot of things. Anyways, he's like, so what does it stem from? And I was like, a lot of it has to do with people being able to see me. Not just seeing my face, but my whole body. And he's like, Why? And I was like, well, because one thing about me is people have always talked about my weight. That's what, when it comes to me, that's what people always seem to talk about. Whether it was family, not family, it was always about my weight. And even when I was small, my weight was still being talked about, even to the size of my arse. Always. So, I don't know. It's in my head that I don't want people looking at me because that's all they're going to see is my body and what I look like. So, I I get embarrassed and shy and anxiety for people to see me below my neck. Now, I'm coming up on 39. I'm trying to get out of the mindset like that I don't give a shit. It's easier said than done. Especially considering I've gone almost 39 years. I mean, obviously, when I got also taller and stuff, that wasn't in my head. But from whatever this started, I'd say probably where it really sticks is probably grade 7, 8 onward. Where people became more vocal about my size and, you know, oh, you're trying to lose weight? What are you doing? Hey, you shouldn't be eating that. That's not as good for you and stuff. And honestly, some of that went from me and has rubbed on to me doing some of that to Grace. I know we're in a household where we will admit our shit, okay? We're not gonna be like, oh, we don't do that. No, some of what was done to me, and I'm not saying from my mom and dad, just people in general, family, friends, relatives, strangers it's so when i realized that i was making comments to grace like hey do you want a healthy alternative or you know if you keep doing that this could happen and stuff um i stopped so that bronzer is nice i feel like it's taken away from my blush where am I going with this? So the therapist is like honing in on me and some stuff. Mostly about like my anxiety. Um, I'm going to try this blush just to see since I have it out. We should try it. So 
So he was honing in on me because he wants Grace to know that, I mean, she's well aware she's not the only kid. I don't like the color of that. She's not the only kid going through things. That took away my highlighter. She's not the only kid. So he was honing in on me more so. And she's realizing a lot of what her anxiety is coming from. I also have still dealing with it as well. She's young enough though where she's going to get taught skills and stuff to overtake her anxiety instead of letting her anxiety overtake her. I'm going to go back and more of that highlighter. I don't like that. The shade of that blush. Um, yeah. He's like, well, what do you do in social situations now? And I was like, well, Grace is homeschooled now, so I don't have to go and pick her up. Um, I know it's like, for instance, I have five sisters. The amount of people who be like, comment on my photos and that and be like, oh, you're the big sister. And it's like, what the fuck? I mean, excuse my language. I never said anything, but that's what I would say. Um, cause I am super shy. I'm an introvert, but I'm the kind of introvert where it takes me warming up to somebody building trust. Like I also have trust issues with people because of old friendships and stuff like that. I have trust issues because of adults. Like, so I'm the type person, I never told the therapist this, but I will. If he asks, if he doesn't ask, I'm not going to tell him. I'm completely happy and fine and calm in my home with Matt, David, and Grace. So my husband and our two kids. I would even get anxiety going to my brother and sister-in-laws. And you might be like, why? Well, my reason for that is because everything that's ever been said to my husband from anybody in his family, family or friends, he told me. So I know everything that's been said about me. Not all of it's horrible, but... It's like if you ever talked anything negative or positive about me to my husband, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, so I don't get anxiety as much now going over to my brother-in-law's. I feel like we've all grown up, but I'm still not sure... You know, like some people, peacekeepers. I've, Matt and I are peacekeepers. We like to keep the peace. I can't help but wonder, like, I don't know. I don't even want to get into conversation about... We we love his brother and sister-in-law. We just, I don't know. So, I, was, I don't have anxiety going over there. But, like, other adults and stuff. Like, there's the part, like, so many things I've gotten invited to, I turned down. Because my initial reaction was, if I go, there people are going to see me. So I have that embedded in my brain. And even when I'm not thinking about it, it pops up. All that to say, I know this is like, Tammy says, get ready with me. But, you know, this feels like a genuine T uh, Tammy talks, get ready with me. Sometimes I need to talk, right? I mean, my husband hears this. My sister hears stuff. My sister, my youngest one, she watches all my videos on here. Sometimes you just need to say it again to somebody different <clears throat> because I don't know. All that to say, yeah, I'm still working up to doing a live because once I go live, even though you're going to see me like I've posted full body shots, like I said, on my Instagram, for instance. I don't know. There's nobody saying anything on those, which is nice. I mean, you would think, unless you're a troll or you just have some crap going on in your life and you feel the need to, like, tear somebody else down, like, keep your... You know what your mom and dad used to say? If you can't say nothing... Not, well, not even them. Thumper. Was it from Thumper? Bambi? If you... I don't know. Somebody said, if you got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And, like, that's how it should be. I mean, the mo a lot of comments to a lot of people are coming from adults and then 
if your kids are seeing you talk and treat people certain ways, your kids are going to think that's cool or funny or whatever. And they might pick up on it and do the same thing to others. All that to say, I do have high anxiety. Sorry, guys, it's taking forever. We're probably going to do like an hour and a half. Get ready with me today. All that to say, I do have anxiety. I have social anxiety. I get in my head about people are going to see me and see that I'm like, I don't know. They can tell I wear size 16 pants <laughs> or, you know, I don't know. I'm As I'm getting older, I'm trying to get out of thinking. Like, I, I do things to get my thoughts to just shut up. Anyways, we're in therapy to help Grace unravel where her anxiety is coming from. It is coming from the bullying and the constant picking on her about her weight and her looks and um, her not fitting in because she's different than other kids. So we should be getting a call within a week for psychiatric because uh, they're going to do like the ADHD, autism, like they're going to do testing on her to see if she is on the spectrum and stuff. Um, if she is, she is. If she's not, she's not. But it would just be nice to figure things out just to see. But her therapy is for... She's not a troubled kid. She doesn't have a hard life at home. She's in therapy just to help her learn how to control or take control of her anxiety and panic attacks. And then if she does need help, if she is on the spectrum or has ADHD... We can go from there and figure that stuff out as well. Like we told therapist, it, we're going to do whatever it takes to help our daughter because we don't want her to get to a point where, you know, the point of no return or the point where she ends up in hospital or something. So, yeah, I. it's easy to come on here. I'm recording myself talking. And it's easy to do this. Going live is another thing, even though I know you guys would only see my face for the most part. All right. I'm going to dig into the, eth no, I want to savor that palette. I want to use another palette with this Natasha Denona one. It would be nice because I kind of want to start out, well, hmm. Flimsy, that's flimsy. If you guys are still here, I thank you for sticking around and not being like, oh, here she goes on a tangent. I said this in a, I got a video where one day I was in my bathroom doing a get ready with me and I was like, I have no friends. <laughs> I do it to myself. So I've come, I know I've done, I've done it to myself. I'm going to go into the shade. It just says blend, but it's like a warm tone. I'm going to go with this one since my cheeks are gone. Warm tone. I'm going to put this right here in the crease. I know I'm not the only adult who also has social anxiety. I am an introvert. I was a very shy kid. I was the kid who always stayed in my bedroom. People came over. It was like, sayonara. Off to my bedroom I went. Lots of people broke my trust when I was a teenager. Especially, well, friends and adults. My uh, trust was broken. I was very naive and gullible. And because of that... My circle is so small that a fart could not squeeze through. Yeah, my circle is so small. It's literally my husband, our kids. Um... <clears throat> My sisters and my parents. It's not that I don't like other people. I do like people. I have a I have a lot of acquaintances. 
but like not many friend friends. I'm going to go into the makeup by Mario because there's nothing light, lighter than that shade that I just used that's not a gray. So I'm going to go into these two shades right here. Grace has trust issues with kids as well. I hope the hell she never has trust issues with adults. Well, as you know, like when you're a teenager, even a kid, and then you see one side of certain adults and then other people see another side. Like it took me well into my 30s to realize some stuff and I was like, that's effed up. All right. I'm going to keep the eyes kind of simple today. So a shade that I want to use is this pink one right here. And normally I use one of these still water brushes um, for the shimmers in here. Because I just put it on my lid and then I start blending it upward. Kind of like that. That's the shade. Actually, it just says center of eyelid, so. I don't know the actual shade name. This was my first Natasha Denona palette, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go back into that warm, that first shade that I used. So that's all I'm going to use from this one is just these two shades. Um, maybe I'll use another shade from there for the bottom. I'm going to go back into the, just for right here. Sometimes it's nice to keep the eyes simple and basic. I just went back into the first two shades, these two right here. Kind of just making sure there's nothing crazy there. I do want to take... This brush here. I want to go into... This says outer line, but I think I'm going to take a combination of this shade and this shade and run them on my <clears throat> upper lash line. One's a matte, one's a shimmer. If you have social anxiety, let me know. It is a crappy thing to have. Anxiety in general is just shitty. But, you know. Whatever's left, I'm just running it pretty much on my lashes, on the lower lashes. And 
Anyways, I do think therapy is going, it's going to be a good thing for Grace and also for Matt and I. I'm contemplating doing a group therapy session with other adults. I think Matt said he would be on board too, but we're instead of going in person for that one, because he's already taking time off of work uh, to take Grace in, which that's a priority for us. Um, there's a Zoom one that him and I can do at home for adults. And it's on parenting. Now, we're both 80s babies. <clears throat> we all know how 80s children were raised. We have been trying our hardest not to raise us the same way our parents did. Not horrible, but there's some things that how we were raised we didn't like. Although, we did tell the therapist there are things that our parents did do that we thought, yeah, I, we wish that was still around. And no, we're not talking about hitting. I I told the therapist I find it's it's hard to parent our kids now because you got people who are woke. What the heck? what does woke even mean? Um talk, it'd be nice if people would talk in terms that I could understand half the time. But I I was telling the therapist I feel like it's hard raising kids now. I mean, what David, we kind of parented David differently than Grace. Only when we realized things that we were doing weren't working with him. And then Grace is a whole nother, <clears throat> again, she's not a trouble kid, but she's a whole nother ball field. I told the therapist, I feel like I have to tiptoe. Like, I feel like I walk on eggshells with her because if I, I feel like if I ground her, she's been grounded once, even though she told the therapist, well, I've been grounded for three months in a row. And then Matt and I were like, we didn't say anything because, you know, whatever she's got going on in here, if she thinks she's been grounded for three months in a row from everything, okay, you were grounded for three months from everything. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with her. She's been grounded once from, for a month <clears throat> and I didn't bother telling the therapist what from because it would have embarrassed her and I didn't want to embarrass her. But I told the therapist, I was like, I feel like I walk on eggshells with her because I can't raise my voice. Never mind yelling, which I used to be a yeller. I used to yell because nobody would listen to me. So I would yell. Now I can't even raise my voice and she's like... I don't know. It's just a whole thing. I, I told the therapist, I don't, I feel like I got to walk on eggshells because if I ground her, raise my voice, do anything, she's going to be like, oh, I'm depressed and use that every damn time. And he was like, yep. So anyways, I'll just leave that as that for now. I'm going to leave. Let's do mascara. Oh, we're only just at the one hour mark now. So I'm almost done. Not too bad. Not too bad. Again, if you're still here, thanks for sticking around. <clears throat> I know some people are here just for makeup, but sometimes I'm going to, you know, sometimes I'm going to chat about something going on in my life. Are you an introvert? Or are you an extrovert? Let me know. I do know one thing. I'm glad I don't have any childhood trauma. Although, like, again, I do have trust issues with people. I had a fantastic, in my opinion, a fantastic childhood, regardless of how I was raised. Man, 
I do like this Rare Beauty mascara. So yeah, I'm not going to go dark on my outer corner today. I did do the liner, some mascara I got on my lid, but I think that it looks fine. It looks fine. It's like, focus, Tammy, focus. You want to know what I think yesterday and today is? I did see your comment. Chris, we said I seem like a little bit nervous. I'm not nervous. I feel like I just got stuff in me that I'd want to like get out. And like talking to my husband about it is fine, but I need to like get it out there more. Sometimes me talking about something once isn't enough. I need to like say it again. I don't know if that's like why. I don't know why. So yeah, I'm not nervous. I just feel like there's stuff I want to talk about. And I guess that is it. I wasn't nervous about taking Grace to therapy. Um, our therapist, man, he's so cool. His name's Amos. He's... He's so cool. And Matt and Grace really like him as well. He's not uptight. He's, I don't know. He's chill. He's really, Grace, at first Grace didn't want him as a therapist because he's a male. She was like, guys don't like me, right? And I was like, girl, you're 13. Like, what do you mean guys don't like you? And she's like, well, all the boys don't like me. And I was like, okay, how about this? Give Amos a chance. If you decide you don't want Amos to be your therapist, Amos said that he would get you a different one. And she said, okay. Now she's like, oh, I'm glad I gave you a chance. And he's like, I'm glad you gave me a chance too. Oh, uh, yeah, he's... We're glad she decided to give him a chance. Job of a therapist, man, that's got to be hard. He said he's currently seeing about 30 other kids aside from Grace right now. I don't know if Grace listens to him fully sometimes when he's talking. But he said he's glad Grace is in a household where she can freely speak her mind and talk. She's not afraid, like, she's not afraid to talk about thoughts that are in her head, right? She's spoken up about them. He said most, he said pretty much the other kids he's seeing, he can see the uncomfortableness in the room between the kids and the parents. Uh, we don't have that with Grace. Um, that's it for mascara, guys. And I was like, that is nice to hear, but at the same time, it's sad to hear that kids being uncomfortable speaking freely with their parents. Okay, now I do like the eye look. Now that it's done, it's like a soft, cool tone pink with a little bit of warmth. The... Eyeshadow on like the top and the bottom is not like bam, but it's there. I do like this lip oil, even though it, there's still shine there. There's not much of a slip left to it. This is, I'm going to keep reapplying this one today. I don't always reapply, like keep reapplying my lip products. Sometimes I do. Like yesterday I kept replying that Give Beauty one. Was that a gel or an oil? Let me see. Gel. Lip gel. Okay. I did reapply that one a few times. I did like the wear down of it. I'm liking how this one wears down as well. But I'm going to keep reapplying this because I want to see if I keep reapplying it. Is this going to dry my lips out? Because sometimes that happens. I really like the doe foot on this one because it's just like the In Beauty one.
And this is like, you know, it's not this exact color, but it, it gives enough color to the lips. So I'm going to keep this out and use that today. And that is, <clears throat> this is the makeup look. Um, the only thing that I don't like about my makeup look today is the blush. The bronzer looks okay. It looks okay. This shade, though, of the blush, I don't like it. Always rosy. It's, um... Not my favorite. I will still use it, though. But not my favorite. And, of course, I do like the... I like the eye look, even though it's, to me, very simple, but it's pretty. All right, guys, I've had you here long enough. Thanks for sticking around. If you stuck around this long to hear me ramble. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go get something to eat because I don't know what time it is and then get my laundry going. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Will I do my first wig in Wednesday? Get ready with me tomorrow? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to go dig out my wigs. Get them brushed out. Um, will I do one tomorrow? We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to Miriam's Friday this week instead of Thursday because she has people coming Saturday. So she wants me to go clean Friday instead of Thursday. <clears throat> so... Maybe Thursday I might do, or I'll just wait till next week. I kind of want to, on Fridays, do a get ready with me and like read a couple of things on Reddit from the beauty community. I thought that'd be fun and interesting, especially if you don't go on Reddit. I didn't go on last night to read anything. Again, a lot of it's not hate stuff. It's like kind of like feedback, like what people like and dislike about certain beauty gurus. Or just the beauty community in general and stuff like that. And yeah, because I, I think on Friday I like to do like a get ready with me Reddit chat um, for the beauty community. And I'm going to start that I think next week. Or do I do that on Thursday? No, because usually th I'm at Miriam's Thursdays. Fridays though I'm usually not... Anyways, you heard it here first. Starting next Friday, I'm starting my... I should write this down. What did I just call it? Get ready with me. Reddit chat is what I'm going to call it. Reddit beauty chat. Get ready with me. Reddit beauty chat. That's mine. <laughs> you could do the same thing. I mean, I wouldn't care. But that's what I'm going to start next Friday on for Fridays. Get ready with me. Reddit beauty chat. That'll start next Friday. If I do it this Friday, it probably might be a quick one because I got to... I mean, I'll be getting ready to go to Miriam's anyways. Like, I do sit down and do get ready with me for work as well. But I might have to, like... I feel like I might have to... That would feel kind of rushed. Either way, next Friday, we're going to start that, Chris. Because I know Chris said, oh, I'd be interested in what in you doing that. So get ready with me, Reddit beauty chat. That is definitely going to start next week, next Friday. That'll be a Friday thing. I can hear Grace singing in her room. <laughs> She's listening to like some like old music that I would listen to as a teenager. Let me know about wig Wigging It Wednesdays. I asked my sister Leah. She threw two names out and I told Matt. Matt's like, yeah, do it for something fun. But it's like, I want a name for it though. Like, it's going to be like a get ready with me. But like, I want to like get ready with me. Like, or Wigging It Wednesdays get ready with me. I don't know. Something catchy. I'm not going to do like a different theme every day of the week. But I feel like Wednesdays and Fridays. I would like kind of a theme. Nice. Oh, did I tell you guys? Probably not. <clears throat> Life update? No, not really. Um, so Matt is obviously, he finished school. He passed. He's got his red seal. He's got his journeyman's ticket. Yay! Um, 
the company he was working for, have I talked about this? Maybe. They fired somebody who was getting all the business in. And when that person got fired, somebody quit. Now people from the company Matt, and I'm saying the word, was working for because the company my husband's been working for for the past who 18 years for sure. Has it been eight? Has it been 18? 7, 16, 16 years for sure. Matt is gone. They got Matt's with another company. Another company that he was planning on going with. Because the company he was with for the past 16 years, since they decided they know, these guys came in and they think they know better. You know, sometimes you got to know your employees and you got to know why you're getting business and who's keeping the business coming in. You know, don't treat your employees like shit. Anyways, uh, the company he's with... They're giving it like three, maybe, maybe three years and that company might be obsolete. And that's a shame because that company has so many good workers. So, so many good workers. A lot of other companies were going to them for business, for projects and stuff like that. And now that this other company hired these people, my husband also is with them. The businesses that were going to my husband's original company no longer, now that they know that these people aren't there, they don't want to do business with them. That's a shame. I'm not going to say the, I mean, yeah. My husband started Monday. Oh, today's only Tuesday. Yeah, so he just started yesterday with the new company. He's excited. He's excited. Um, and he's also aiming for, he already put it out there. He's aiming for for a foreman. That's as far as he wants to go. He doesn't want to be a supervisor, a superintendent, whatever else is up there. I have no idea. He's like, I'm just putting it out there. My main goal is to become foreman. So hopefully he gets that. He's not going to get it like right away, but hopefully. Anyways. Yeah. I We got nothing else going on. That's the only thing new and exciting. <clears throat> David is job hunting because he also went with the company my husband was with and decided he didn't like it. And we're like, okay. So he's trying to get another job. And I was just like, I told him yesterday, I was like, put some thought into another trade. The way things are going, him working at a grocery store, or fast food restaurant, uh, mom and dad aren't going to be here forever. He's not going to be able to take care of himself with a grocery store or restaurant job, there's nothing wrong with those jobs. He needs to get, because he's not going to go to college or university, he needs to get into a trade to be able to afford to live on his own. Because he said he has no desire to marry. He has no desire to date. He said, it's kind of sad because he's turning 20 this year. It's kind of sad that a lot of the kids his age are seeing how things are going right now and they feel like what's the point this is pointless this is useless i'm never they have he's got i feel like he's got the thought of i'm not going to be able to buy my own home have kids or anything like that and we're like you can definitely do that you got to work for it you got to earn it it's going to take a lot of work and dedication and hard nights and stuff Thankfully, Grace's mindset's not in there, even though she sees the same thing. She's like, I don't care. I'm going to work and work and split my money up into savings and some spending. She's like, I'm going to make it happen. And I was like, that's excellent. I just wish um, David's older, so he does see a lot of things going on. And we told him, like, you can live home forever if you want. You just, you're going to pay, help pay. You got to help out. So... Yeah, either way, though, like I told him, like, Dad and I's not going to be here forever. We are planning on buying a home. And like we told David, we buy a home, you're still going to need a, a really good paying job. Because, again, if Dad and I had gone, you're going to need to be able to pay for the home, the mortgage, taxes, whatever, once we're not here. Because he said that he uh, he wants whatever home we 
Bye. We're like, that's fine. Gotta have a good job, though. So, I keep offering him help. He's not taking my help, though, in job searching. Matt was like, you keep offering help. He's old enough. Just let him do his own thing. I'm like, I know. Uh, I'm like, it's my personality. I just feel like I'm also a helper, so I want to help him. Now I'm like, here, here I am starting a new tangent. I just got to get off of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> God bless.